Live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. 616 this evening. We made it up to 63 degrees in Greenville today, even with all of the clouds. So just about average. And our morning low was on the mild side. It's going to be really, I uh, can't call it warm, but really mild tomorrow morning with 50s across the area. A pleasant end to our Monday with uh, mainly cloudy skies, but we've been getting some nice slivers of sunshine here and there, and the rain's going to hold off until tomorrow. 59 in Asheville, so a little above average again even with all of the clouds today and nowhere near either of our records happy to say all right let's talk about our evening in the mountains as well we've had just uh, one or two spotty showers we've been able to pick up on live super doppler 4 hd but look how glorious of an evening with the sun setting looking to the west there 55 degrees and a south wind so between those clouds and those winds we will stay quite mild for this evening let's take a look at the numbers 50 59 degrees in Spartanburg right now, 63 in Lawrence and 64 in Greenwood with higher dew point temperatures, humidity up a bit and we'll feel it more so even tomorrow, but a big change in our air mass after an extremely dry weekend. All right, as far as the winds go, light right now in Anderson and overnight they're going to stay pretty calm. So with all of that low level moisture, we could have some fog. Now our visibility, that's what this is looking at and love this able to really put in the conditions and see where fog would be more likely to form. I wouldn't expect any advisories tomorrow morning, but visibility could be down a bit, especially if you are near a body of water, one of our many lakes, but uh, through the upstate, it won't last very long tomorrow. It will lift on out, but the winds are going to pick up will be really what prevents us from getting too foggy. Now the following evening, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, we might have to be on the lookout again. All right, looking out for strong to severe thunderstorms. Advisories are up across much of the country. Here's our future plus tomorrow morning. Yes, mainly cloudy, but mainly dry, and that will be the case even through lunchtime. We could start squeezing out a few showers over the mountains, but most of us in the upstate are fine for lunch. It is getting home tomorrow evening that we'll start seeing the rain around and we're talking mainly about a quarter of an inch in many areas. We'll get lucky to get a half an inch. You can see there's not a lot of upper level support, so it's going to kind of fall apart here and grateful that we're not looking at a severe weather potential here, but we're keeping an eye on that rain for your Tuesday and let's help you plan the rest of the week as well. But less than a half an inch is really what most of us are going to find out of this. And again, I think we'll be more at three quarters if we're lucky in some locations in the mountains. So very mild for tonight with our temperatures very close to 50 degrees and that's all of us overnight from northeast Georgia across the mountains and in the upstate. And I'll show you the days ahead where this system goes through. You see it doesn't affect our temperatures a whole lot. It's drier air with this system really. But as we get into the weekend is when we're going to bring back a rain chance late Saturday, First part of Sunday looks like the timing at this point. You know we'll be tweaking that as the week goes on. And then Saturday night, we're going to spring forward and hopefully not be late everywhere on Sunday morning yep. if we forget. There's always that risk. I know. My church starts at 11, so I'll be fine. Yeah, but I'm talking, <laughs> I'm talking my job. Oh, so. that's it. Yeah, there you go. That's much earlier. Yeah. <laughs>